In this video, I will show you how to use the drawing tool plus keyframe to create an effect like this. Let's dive in. Now, the first thing that I have is this clip that I've downloaded from the stock media and I just place it on my timeline. So the next step is to create a shape and we are creating a shape of a moon. So go to the drawing tools and select the ellipse shape. I'm going to select this ellipse and draw a circle over here, somewhere like this. Okay, depending on the size that you want. And I'm going to stretch it out all throughout for this entire uh, clip. I'm going to drag this down to the track below and uh, double click it. So by double clicking it, you have some extra options. Things like scaling, the position which we will use later, fill as well as the border as well. So first, I'm going to change the color of the fill to something more yellowish, something like this. Okay, you can also change the color of the border as well by selecting on the border. And further down, you can see things like blur and opacity. So you can raise this slightly if you want to blur it. And the reason why I want to do a slight blur because uh, this is a moon for something that is in the distance, you will have some slight blurring effect due to the atmosphere. All right. Next, I'm going to copy this clip, place it on the timeline above move it over. Now next, what I'm going to do is to select the uh, clip on top, go to mask, select the hand-drawn mask, and click on it. And now I'm going to draw the mask right above this mountain top over here. Okay, so uh, you can see that it has a magnifying effect which helps to place the cursor. So I'm going to place it, follow the mountains there. So the closer that you can place the point, the better it will be more realistic. Uh, for a certain situation, if you are having a building, then it will be much easier. Okay, so I'm going to draw around the mass and close it up. Okay, so I need to add some points over here. Okay, that should do it. And the final step is to make this shape move. So what you want to do is double click on the ellipse, scroll up to the position. Okay, so you can drag this down. Let's lock the track above. Okay, move your playhead further down. Make sure this is selected. Go back to your position as well again and make the movement come up. Okay, so you will see something like this. All right, so let's move it all the way to the end so that's more realistic. And there you have it. How to grow some animation, simple animation using the shape. There are other shapes that you can use as well for other things. So you go to drawing tools, you can draw a rectangle, an arrow, and you can use things to uh, use it to point to something as well, besides, say, using it to create the effect of the moon. So let's position it this way. So you can change the size of all this and make it point to certain things. All right. So this is how you use the drawing tools in Filmora 13. Hope that you like this video. If you like it, do give it a thumbs up and check us on the screen right now for the next Filmora tip.